Well, hello there, friends and family, and welcome back to the little old country kitchen. It's been a while, hasn't it? And I see you're sitting here staring at a bunch of ingredients. Yeah, so that means Gracie and Lilybet somehow let y'all sneak on past them, didn't they? Imagine that. I bet you you got past with some treats. But anyway, what do we have here? Well, of course, you see a big pile of cucumbers there. And you might wonder, what in the world is he going to do with cucumbers? Well, we're going to make a dish where we cook up some of those cucumbers. Because we have an overabundance of them. And today, the meat of choice is going to be some of that there fine 7327 ground beef. From Superfoods, that is. And we're going to be using some cucumbers in the dish. This is more of an Asian-inspired dish. And actually... In some Asian countries, they cook their cucumbers in different dishes. And another cucumber-like, it's called a bitter melon. Sort of kind of looks like a cucumber, then sort of kind of don't taste like one. Yeah, so we're going to use up some cucumbers. We're also going to need an onion there. We've got one big yellow onion. We're going to use about... Four to six cloves of this here fresh garlic. So fresh it's starting to sprout. <laughs> and we're going to be putting in some of those there uh, sure fine choice tomatoes. Petite diced with green chilies. Yeah, store brand for Rotel. And then we're going to have to have some seasoning. Some black pepper. Pure ground. We may need some salt. We'll just have to add salt to taste we're going to be using some beef bouillon cubes maybe two or maybe four to add a little more beefy flavor our oil of choice is going to be toasted sesame oil here again we're staying to that asian theme we'll be using some oyster sauce as well as some kikkoman soy sauce you know sodium's big thing in your life Use the reduced sodium. And spice it up some. Give it a little bit of heat. Not a lot. Just make it neat. Some crushed red pepper. And some ground ginger. And that's pretty much it. Now the first thing we got to prep is our cucumbers. And we can do that while the meat's starting to brown. In our large skillet over there. You could use a wok or any skillet you might have. That's what we're using today. So we can throw a lid on it. And we're going to get ready to simmer it on down. So like I said, oh, that was a little one. We're going to be using these cucumbers. And we're not going to be using the smallest ones. We're going to use this big one that got a little bit too far gone. And that's one thing I might add about this recipe, or recipes like it. For those times, some of those cucumbers hide and get away from you, get a little bit too big. Well, we're going to de-seed this one. We're going to peel it up a little bit, not a lot, you know, so it looks fancy. And then we're going to dice it up. And then we're going to start the process of sweating out a little bit of moisture before it heads to the pan. So hey, if I can get some help from uh, Lily Bit, you gonna help me? You gonna help Papa? You are. It does look like Lily Bit's gonna help. So you know, I'll do the onion and garlic, and Lily Bit can do the cucumber. She knows all about these things. Gracie, I think Gracie's napping at the moment. So let's get this here prep work done, and we'll be right back. So the first thing we got to do is prep our cucumber. You know, the giant one that looks like a blimp. Uh, I thought Lily Bit was going to do it, but she opted out. We got a little bag here just to put our peelings in. Now, we're going to peel it. And you can peel it all the way if you want. That's what I'm going to do. Or you can just peel it. Leave some green stripes, you know, racing stripes. We're going to peel this thing, and I wish you could smell it. Yeah, it's rather large. 
but it does have a nice cucumberly smell I might add yeah see peel it nothing special I'm trying to get away from us as we peel this into our compost bag yep so there we go got her peeled I'm going to cut the end off chunk that in there I'm going to cut the other end off and then we're going to cut this thing in to about three or four inch slices well not slices but sections okay so we can handle it a little better just place them in there because now we got to worry about the seeds we don't want the seeds so what we're going to do just take that slice it right open right there there ain't many seeds in that section and we're just going to take that spoon push them out scrape them out just like that see done deal now all we can do we're going to give this another slice and then we're going to give it a quick slice like that you can see the size of the pieces yeah they're about three eighths inch thick and we're going to put them over here in a bowl that we just happen to have here off camera okay give it another if you want smaller pieces you do small you want larger you do larger you know what you just do you and you'll be happy so you got that done bring out our next section Whew. Got way more seeds in it now normally people would take it when they get this big and they just chunk it in the compost pile you know uh oh sometimes those seeds can get away from you try not to make too big of a mess here that way you know Lily Bit and Gracie don't have all that much to clean up but you can see we cleaned out the seed cavity and we're going to cut these up now if you have one or two seeds get away from you you know and get in your dish because they tend to get everywhere don't worry about it, it'll be okay. We just like to get the majority of them. Yep. I wish uh, Lily Bit would have stuck to her promise and went ahead and cut this all up and got it ready. It don't take long and there's actually a lot of food in these larger cucumbers seeds are everywhere these are juicy too see that's why we're going to do a little bit of sweating but while we're getting our meat cooking and how do we do that well once we get these all nice and cut up in that what we're going to do is sprinkle a little salt on and let some of that moisture come out and what you're going to find if you will cook your cucumbers and you can drop them in a lot of dishes you can even drop them in spaghetti you'd be just shocked or make you know like a squash casserole 
instead of squash, use your cucumbers. There we go. Let me go rinse these off, and we'll be back to get these salted up and start to sweat. So now you see, we've got that one large cucumber all cut up. Let's give it a taste, just raw. Make sure it's still good. Yep. Mm hmm It's got just a little twang. You know, just starting to get a little bit better. That's going to work good in this dish. Now what are we going to do? We're going to take some just regular old table salt, what I got. You can use your pink Himalayan. You can do whatever you want. You're just going to put that on in there. You're going to give it a mix with one hand. Maybe put some more in there. You know, until you get all your cucumber all nicely covered in salt. Okay. This where everyone's got some salt on it. And you can see it right there. You can see the moisture on my hands. That salt's going to start drawing out the moisture from those cucumbers. Yep. That's all there is to it. We're just going to stick them in the fridge while we get our meat starting to brown. Well, we still got an onion and garlic to prep too. But I'll do that while y'all are in visiting in the living room or the dining room. Unless some of you want to help me cut up an onion and garlic. We'll be on back once we get that meat starting to sizzle. Well, we got everything prepped. Now what we got to do is we got to get some meat going. So, first thing I'm going to do, even though our uh, meat, ground beef that is, is 7327 lean, I'm going to just for flavor add in all by a teaspoon. Pull that there toasted sesame oil Ooh, yeah if you haven't cooked with sesame oil before you don't know what you're missing and if you're a fan of chinese food you've had sesame oil many times before let me get that there ground beef out of the fridge and we're going to set our burner at a five middle of the road let our pan come up to temperature while we get our beef out of the fridge We'll drop our little one pound of ground beef on in there. Take out that little thing. We forgot it one time. And we're just going to let it start to get in there and get cozy in that there big old fry skillet. Break up this meat a little bit. It's sliding all around. Now we got that oil in there. Maybe we should have Added the oil after we got it broken up some. We got one of those things, you know, that chops up the meat. But currently have misplaced it. It's around here in one of these cabinets. Yep. In fact, I got two. So I'm just having to use my standby here. And however much you want to break it up, you break it up however much you want. And it's going to break up rather fine anyway, depending on the grind. Now I'll tell you what, you don't have to use ground beef with this. You can take some regular round steak or chuck steak and slice it up rather thinly. And that cut it up and throw that in there. Or keep it up if you want. In fact, in all truth, over there in certain Asian countries, now they use the ground beef, that's exactly what they would have done. Chopped up their own beef. So, we're going to let that start to get brown and cooked. Right there, ain't hard. I think everybody knows how to brown meat. And I don't mean gray. I mean get a little bit of brown on there, you know what I'm saying? 
Because brown is where the flavor's at. So y'all watch that. So we got that beef coming along nicely. It's not totally brown. But I'm going to go ahead and throw in some onions, okay? Get these onions cooked. And we'll hold back on that garlic. And I just did one whole yellow onion, coarse chop. And I'm trying to keep my uh, ground beef there, sort of a chunky ground beef. We're just gonna drop in those nice yellow onions right there. They'll come apart as they could. Don't worry about that. as we continue to brown up our beef. We're not throwing that garlic in there because we don't want to burn it and uh, make this extremely bitter, okay? Mm-mm. I mean just onions and ground beef. Cooking with just a I'd say a teaspoon, that sesame oil. Ooh, smells so delicious already. Surely it does. And that meat is starting to get close to where we want it to be. Just a touch of brown. Can y'all see that? Now y'all remember we pre-prepped our cucumbers. I want you to see there. You see all that liquid coming out? Right there in that bowl. Well, I'm going to take these to the sink right now, and I'm going to give them a quick rinse. Remember all that salt? You might have been worried about it. Well, a lot of that's going to be rinsed off and go down the drain, along with all this moisture. Yeah, our onions are starting to get translucent there. You know, that's where they, they're no longer white. I don't know how to describe translucent. You know, sort of get like they're almost transparent. Don't want to overwork this because it'll break up our beef. And we're trying to leave it in, you know, chunky form. See? About like that. About the size that we chopped up our onions. And while that's continuing to brown, no better time than to add some of our black pepper. Pure ground, that is. And we're just going to add a half a teaspoon. We like pure ground black pepper. If you don't, use a quarter and adjust the taste. Next up, we're going to put in some ground ginger. That'll warm it up some. And did you know both black pepper and ginger are both digestive aids? Yeah. We're going to throw in oh, about a half a teaspoon of that as well. Right into that meat. Before we forget about it. And then we're just going to give it all a nice stir. Now you talking some flavor. And if you uh, taste it, I would I would hold off on the tasting until we got the finished dish. Because you can always add more pepper, more salt, more ginger. I mean, you want a little bit spicier, more red pepper. Which we ain't added yet, have we? Nope, we haven't. So, it looks like our onions are translucent. So what are we going to do next? Well, next, we're going to dump in those choice tomatoes, petite dice, with green chilies. And we didn't even drain them. Nope. Here again, 
we'll just mix all that up in there. Now, for some people, this would be just good enough now. You can get out some tortillas if you want to. And use this as a stuff. Especially if you threw in some of that, that red pepper right now. That's not where we're going. We don't want to forget our garlic. And that was, uh, I went ahead with six cloves. They were small. You might only want to go with four cloves. Or you might want to go with two. And yes, you can use your dehydrated minced garlic. Remember, that's a quarter teaspoon for every clove. If you were wondering. Or you can use that jar. You know, but I prefer fresh. I got it on hand. And there's the phone. Wouldn't you know it? Right when I'm cooking. I'll be right back. Keep an eye on it for me, okay? We'll just have to catch them later. So now we've got our ground beef, our onion, our garlic, our uh, petite diced tomatoes with green chilies, you know, rotel, all in there. Garlic. Woo, it's starting to smell good. But we still got to put in the star of the show. And like I said, I rinsed them and everything. So, 90% of the salt is done gone. And then I drained them. And we're just going to scoop them on out here. And the reason we sweat them some is just so we don't got to deal with all that water. Because cucumbers, I think, are what? 97% water. Now, look at that. Starting to look down right best of ain't it? And you can see, that just one big cucumber, a large onion, one pound of ground beef, and a can of petite dice with green chilies it makes up a pretty big skillet of food already. Now, it's at this time I'm going to go ahead just so I don't forget it. Then I'm going to put in the crushed red pepper. And I'm putting in a half a teaspoon of that as well. You don't want to be that spicy. You know, put you in an eighth. Taste it. You need a little more? Sprinkle a little more. Make it more better. It's all up to you. And I went ahead and unwrapped two beef bouillon cubes. Which if I had put them with water, that would have been eight ounces of water or one cup per beef bouillon cube. Yeah. Sixteen ounces of water. Two cups. But these cucumbers are still going to sweat out a whole bunch more water. And you can always add water to it. I mean, we don't want it floating, okay? And now I'm going to add in one tablespoon of soy sauce. Just like that. Woo, more flavor. And then one tablespoon of oyster sauce. And if you didn't know, when you go to your favorite Chinese restaurant, you know, they'll have brown sauces and white sauce. Do you know the brown sauce is made of oyster sauce, soy sauce, sugar, and cornstarch? It's just that easy. So you might say, we're building the basis for our sauce right now. But, I'm going to tell you a secret about cucumbers. They will pick up a lot of the flavor of whatever you're cooking with. Yeah, they surely will. They sort of act something like mushrooms do. Mushrooms, 
especially if you marinate them or cook them where you simmer and stew something they'll pick up a whole lot of the flavor whatever you're cooking them with see that's what we got right there now later when we want to build our sauce which we're going to build it with the flavors that are already in this pan that's when that cornstarch comes in and we'll taste it if we want it to be sweet which I'm not so much of a sweet guy I'm a savory guy but like ch traditional Chinese brown sauce is sweet so that's when you would add a little sugar or honey in to give it that their sweetness me I'll probably just stay savory so what I'm going to do now is let this simmer for a while I surely am. I think I'll add about a cup cup of water to it because that's going to cook down. We'll just drop this in a cup of water. And I don't know if you can see that, but you can see that brown sauce already. We may add a little bit more oyster sauce to it for the final version when we throw in the cornstarch. And we'll taste it. If we want a little bit of sweetness, that's when we'll throw in a little bit of sugar, if we so desire. But for now, we're going to find the lid. We're going to let this simmer for a while. Let all the things meld together. I'm thinking about 30 minutes, 45, maybe an hour. We'll just check it. What we want is we want our cucumbers nice and pork tender. Okay. And while it's simmering, we can be uh, talking in the living room. I mean, normally you see me use full. It's a rare occasion when I actually have a lid that fits one of my pans. Just so happens, this old, uh, big old skillet that I used to fry my chicken in all the time, make chili and all kinds of things it has lid thankfully I found it again <laughs> well y'all it's been going for about 30 minutes so we're going to check it Woo! look at there I don't know if you can see how yummy that looks and we've cooked out even more of that moisture out of those cucumbers we just want the cucumbers fork tender Yep, pork slides right in them. So we'll set that over to the side. Oh, let's get another one. Whew. Let's live daring. Let's turn the heat down. We're going to turn it down to low. And you can see we already got a pine sauce ready there. Surely we do. Put that over there and let that cool a minute. Give it a taste test. Let's see how our sauce is doing. Yeah, I think what we're going to need to do there is add us in a little bit of cornstarch and get it slickened up a little, okay? But we have to get a taste of it first. Make sure it's seasoned right. Make sure we got enough oyster sauce, soy sauce, uh, ginger, all those things, black pepper. Yep. I think that's going to be just about fine. It ain't overly hot. It's just got some warmth to it. Yeah. Let's try these cucumbers. They're done got translucent. And they did just like I told you. They start to uh, absorb all that flavor that we put in there, the oyster sauce, the soy sauce, the ginger. Yeah, all that, the onion, the garlic. Mm-hmm. 
hey these cucumbers when they get to this point you can take your teeth out they'll melt in your mouth almost literally melt in your mouth hmm now like I say at this point after 30 minutes of simmering on low now we're gonna build a sauce make it a little bit thicker and it would be at this time if you didn't want it savory like I do you can add in some sugar till you give it some sweetness something I'm not going to do at this time but I am going to take a little cornstarch and I'm going to put it in there and get this a little bit thicker than what it is okay now I'm just taking a little bit of water here with a tablespoon of cornstarch mix it up first that way you don't get lumps we're going to add it on in there to thicken up our sauce, okay? It's just that easy. Take our spatula. Give it a little bit of stirring. Let it keep heating. And like I say, it's on low right now. Low as far as it'll go is low before it goes off on my stove hmm so what would we eat this over no I mean we could eat it just like it is right now but what we're gonna eat it over is some traditional white rice yep and we got that right here so I'm just gonna for now turn my burner off because it's right where I want it I'm gonna put the lid back on and I'm gonna make me some white rice and then we'll come back dish it on up and have a taste test and see if we all like it okay well and just like that through the magic of YouTube we made up a small pot of white rice real rice not instant yep and we're just going to take some of that in a nice little bowl we got here. Plop in a couple of spoonfuls right there, see? And ladle this in some of our spicy beef and cucumber. Ooh, just like that. You see? Now, we'd garnish it with some uh, green onions or spring onions as I call them if we had them. Currently, we're slap out. But hey, let's give this a taste test and see if it was worth the effort. Okay? Come on. Well, we got a spoon. And don't look at me. I'm a little scruffy. It's been a long day out in the gardens, yards. And then I have to come in and cook something for me and for the kitties and everybody. But we have our spicy beef and cucumber spoon and we're just going to get us a little bit of all of it you see right there we got some cucumber onions oh timer went off pardon me it's real life here but back to what we were doing we've got it all here onions tomatoes garlic rice burger beef and cucumber we'll blow a little bit because it could be hot and now let's give it a big old taste test that's just about perfect and that ain't even real hot but that there half of excuse me I'm gonna wipe off my lips with what we put in the half a teaspoon which I would say would be the base place to start you can taste that ginger you can taste just a little bit of heat from that crushed red pepper for me I think I'd throw in another half a teaspoon 
You can taste the black pepper, and it needs a little more salt. If you'll notice, we didn't add any per se salt. There's salt in the beef bouillon cubes, salt in the oyster sauce, and our soy sauce. We didn't add any additional. And I'm thinking it could use just a, a little bit of that. But the, the great thing about this is you can dish it out here and right in with this bowl, you can add pepper, salt, red pepper, a little more ginger if you want, whatever you want right here. Without affecting the dish for everybody else, everybody can have it their way. Now, if you do something special with cooking your cucumbers from your garden or your local market, let me know in the comments below this video. And hey, if you'd like, grab a bowl out of the cabinet. Got spoons here in the drawer. We got plenty more. We'll all sit down at the dining room table and have a chat. But hey, for those of you that aren't here, until I see you, my friend and family again, on the next video, you know, we'd all like to say, you know, me, Kitty Crew, you know them all, Cleo, Spooky Speedy, Mr. Gray, and Magoo, and sometimes Heathcliff too. And of course we got Gracie, and a little bit too. Right here, below my feet. Let me show it to you. She's never far away. Lily bit. Are y'all tuckered out from helping? Hmm. Are you all tuckered out from helping? I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, you'll get some extra treats, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh. So, we're going to get back to our bowl of spicy beef and cucumbers. And I may make some bread. Yeah. Now I wish I had some egg rolls. But like I was saying, until we all see y'all on the next video, y'all take care, stay safe, and God bless you as you bless others. Goodbye for now. You want it? You gonna say anything a little bit? Or are you just gonna stay at my feet? You papa's girl, ain't you? <laughs> Yes, she is. Later, all.